So you want to start running Facebook ads and you don't know where to start. This video is going to be perfect for you. We're going to go over the basics of how to actually set up your Facebook page to linking your Instagram account to then creating your first campaign and then to launching your first ad. In this video, I will actually link in certain parts uh, videos that I've made where we actually connected the pixel for Facebook to websites or to your Shopify store just to save time on this. So it's a nice short video for you guys and you guys can launch your first campaign. So inside Facebook here, as you can see, I have pages right here where the flag is on my left. I'm going to click that. I'm now going to create a new page up here in the top left, and I will now simply create a page. So my page name, whatever it may be, Lucas Keeler. My category will say my marketing agency. And then for my bio, I'll say Lucas Keeler. I would now go ahead, create my page, enter in all my business info. But since I've already created a actual page for my actual business, which is Social Boost Media, I will not be creating a new page because I don't need a new page. But once you've actually created your page, you should be automatically brought to your page and editing your page. If you're like me and you see pages you manage, just click on the actual page. And then right here where it says switch on the left, click switch. Great. So we're now editing our page. We're now, as you can see on the top right, we're now in our actual account for our page. Now we're going to go over here to the left where it says settings. Now on the left where it says linked accounts, we're going to click linked accounts. We're now going to connect our Instagram account. As you can see here, I've already connected my Instagram account, so I don't need to connect another Instagram account, but it's pretty simple. Just enter in your username and password. It's a super simple login. You don't need me to walk you through it. Back on our page though, we're going to be going back over to the left where it says Meta Business Suite. We're going to click on this and now we're going to see this Meta Business Suite that we're in. We can see messages, comments, posts, real stories, the whole thing. So we're not going to be focusing on that right now, but we're going to be focusing on the left where it says all tools and on the right where it says settings under manage. Now in settings, obviously on the left, you can see users and people. This is where you can now add people into your business account and have them manage if you need to invite people, which is on the right. But you can also see your partners, which would be like Shopify or any other platform that actually connects to your Facebook. Now under accounts and pages, we can now see all the pages that we actually manage. So we can actually click on this account and actually give access to anybody that needs access to this account by clicking page access and assigning people page access right there. But we're not going to do that right now because we don't need to assign anybody. But if you do need to assign someone, that's how you do it. Now, right underneath pages we're going to see add accounts we're going to click on that and we're now going to go up to the top right where it says add add accounts we can now choose create a new ad account and click on that name it our business and we're all set up i'm not going to do it because i don't need another ad account so creating a new ad account pretty straightforward pretty simple now we're going to go over into instagram accounts so if you had a hard time actually linking your instagram account we can link it right here as well and add our instagram account so when we go to advertise let's say we want to advertise on two or three instagram accounts we could do it right here and add an instagram account or multiple accounts now we're going to click on on data sources right here. This is pretty important. We're going to go into data sets. We're now going to go to add a data set. We're now going to name this data set, whatever you want. So Lucas Keeler, and we would now hit create. Once you've actually created your data set, you'll see it pop up in here. As you can see, I have test data set, Lucas Keeler's data set, the whole thing. Now inside this data set, you will actually create your pixel. It'll be pretty straightforward. And I'm going to link the video right here for you to watch on how to actually connect your data set to your Shopify account or into other websites. Now on the left here though, we're going to go into billing and payments. We're going to set this up right now so we don't need to later on. Once in billing and payment, you just click on your actual account. So you can see right here, I have Social Boost Media. I'll click on that and I would now go to the right right here where it says add funds or I could do add payment method and just simply add my payment method. Pretty straightforward. Now back where we were, we're now going to go over to the left where it says ads manager. We're now going to click on ads manager and that will bring us to our ads manager account. So as you can see right here, I have Social Boost Media. As you can see, I already started a new sales campaign as a demo, but we're going to delete that for now. And we're going to create a new campaign. So to create your first campaign, we're going to go right here into campaigns, hit create. We're now going to choose whatever you want. So if it's leads, sales, traffic, awareness, whatever it may be, we're going to optimize for sales here. We're going to click continue. We're now going to do a manual sales campaign. We're not going to do an Advantage Plus shopping campaign. And inside the campaign name now, we're now going to name this LK Social Boost Media and then whatever we're optimizing for. So for sales and then CBO, which stands for Campaign Broad Objective. Now we don't have any special ad categories right here so we're not going to declare any categories and for the campaign details we're going to leave this on auction and the campaign objective is going to stay sales now if you do have a catalog you can actually use your catalog and turn this on and you can now advertise all the products inside your catalog if you don't have your catalog set up it's pretty easy to set up with shopify 
I made a video on it. You can watch it actually right here. But if you don't want to use your catalog, then we will do a normal sales campaign. Remember, once you actually turn on use a catalog, you cannot run a normal ad with a video that you want or a photo or graphic that you want. We're not going to do an A-B test for now, but we are going to click on advantage campaign budget and click that on. So I recommend setting this to 40 if you're definitely selling for like an e-commerce. If you're doing it in person, you could do it a little bit lower. We're now going to click next. We're now going to name this ad set. So as our ad set name, we're now going to name this 01 main USA male plus female broad, which stands for broad objective. And then AP, which stands for automatic placement. 18 plus stands for advertising to people over 18. And O per means we're optimizing for purchase. We're now going to click on on conversion location which is going to be our website because we're going to be driving sales on our website for our performance goal we're going to do maximize number of conversions and for our pixel we'll choose our pixel and the conversion event will be add to cart or a purchase which i have right here but i actually don't have anything to purchase on my website so this is where you can now choose if you want to do a dynamic creative test by clicking this on but we're not going to do that right now i have another video on how to run a dct which you can watch right here but we're not going to go over that right now for budget and schedule this could say the same you don't need to touch any of this the start date can stay the same if you want to add an end you can but if you're trying to scale a campaign don't add a end date for the audience controls you can now choose your location and you can do more if you want to go into like minimum age and custom audiences we're just going to leave this since we put our objective as broad and we're going to advertise and we're going to let facebook do all the targeting now you can do advantage plus audience sometimes i like to do switch to original audience or use advantage plus audience it really doesn't matter um it'll work the exact same and for placements you can do advantage plus placement since we're doing AP, which stands for automatic placements. We can now click next. We can now name our ad, whatever it may be. So if we're doing like a DCT, it would be DCT 102, but name your ad, whatever it may be. So I'm going to do LK underscore and then the, whatever the headline of the video would be. So purchase today now for my identity obviously i chose social boost media for my instagram account and facebook account for my ad setup you just do create ad manual upload you can do single image or video pretty simple or you could do a carousel if you want to do like two images or videos go ahead but for the media you'd click right here where it says add media come here add video or add image as you can see here i already have two videos in here and you click right where it says upload and upload a video now for primary text we're not going to add anything since i will go over primary and headline text and copywriting in a different video which i will link down below but for the description you don't need a description at all and for the call to action it can be learned more but for now we're going to do shop now now our website url add in any website url that you're going to be sending them to now you actually don't need to do the display link because you don't need it showing on your ad they will automatically go to the link once they click on shop now now we can translate into languages but we're not going to do that and for tracking we're obviously going to have our website events which is social boost media now you can add in url parameters if you're tracking with google or if you even using triple well or even high rows. that is all you need to know to how to actually start setting up facebook campaign and how to launch your first facebook campaign if you like this video drop a like and subscribe i'm making more facebook content like this all the time i'll see you in the next video